Hey everybody, Radaman here. Thanks for tuning in to episode 64 of Mount and Blade 2 Bannerlord, a Let's Play tutorial series. So last episode, we resolved peace. It cost me basically all of my influence, but we resolved peace with Valandia so that I can solely focus on Kuzait, uh, who's been acting as one of our only true rivals in terms of strength for a long time. Uh, one thing I wanted to mention before I get started is I am now playing on the 1.5.5 branch, not the 1.5.4 branch. Uh, for a very long time I was on 1.5.4, but now I'm on 1.5.5. There is the beta branch of 1.5.6, but uh, I'm going to be avoiding playing on beta branches due to stability concerns. So let's go and start to attack this center core. Seronia, Mysia, Melian Castle, Cornea Castle. Um, I would like Kuzate to still share a border with Britannia, so I'm not going to bother them in the north where Sturgia used to be, or Onraira, or these castles around here that share a border with um, Azurai and Southern Empire and all that. Um, so it looks like I've got some vassals coming in to help defend me and back me up. Now, if you are interested in what the latest beta branch offers, uh, just go ahead and read the patch notes. You can find them online in various places. I'm not going to be going over uh, what the latest beta branch has. It just, it would take me a while. It's pretty long. Uh, another thing that I'm going to do is to um, try out the Mountain Blade. It's so, so tempting to call it Mountain Blade. Mount and Blade, but the Batanian Mountain Blade during this siege. Normally I have a Rumphaya, but I think we all know that the Rumphaya is dreadfully inefficient. It's it's truly a terrible weapon to use uh, for castle attacks because there's no room to wield it. So we'll use the two-hander sword that I bought uh, for a very, very, very pretty penny. And this will just be a traditional uh, castle siege. Tower Siege. Another thing to note is, due to the beta branch, my party troop limit has remarkably gone up. Um, honestly, I don't really know what's going on with that. <laughs> I was very, very surprised when I first checked out the branch. My guess is, some of the perks that I had previously, uh, specifically the stewardship and leadership perks, oh yes, the leadership perks, um, got reset. So my guess is these got reset because they are um, they're working now. So let's take a look. Additional four morale at the beginning of the battle if I'm attacking. Um, yes, I'm always an attacker. So let's go with the attacking. Even though the defending provides more morale. Um, and double rate of recruiting low level prisoners. Now what's weird is double the rate of recruiting tier 4, 5, 6 prisoners for stout defender. Um... That signals to me that you can now recruit five and six prisoners, but maybe that's not true. Authority. Uh, garrison is more effective for security and... or loyalty per day. Town loyalty per day. I'm going to go with town loyalty per day because my loyalty of most of my towns are terrible. Loyalty and honor. Tier three plus troops under my command. Ignore retreat due to low morale, which is not implemented as you can see. Or, uh, renown gain from battles, 50%. Recruited troops start with a bonus of XP. Let's do Famous Commander, because it's actually implemented. Then up here, uh, Inspiring Leader. Less influence needed to call parties. And they gain more experience from battles. That's pretty good. Increase battle morale. Okay, let's go with... Less influence and more experience. Even though party size limit increased by 10 would be nice, um, my party size is huge. And then the last one, make a difference. Your kills are more effective for morale, and archers generate more experience, or not implemented. Okay, so let's do make a difference, because the other one's not implemented. Cool. And that brings us up, so our party size has gone up. Um, I'm going to start keeping higher tier troops, you know, the tier 5s and 6s that previously on other branches were not recruitable. Uh, maybe they're recruitable now? I'm not sure, but we'll find out through experimentation. Okay. 
Okay, we are ready to lead assault, and this will be the first time I'm bringing my two-hander blade into battle. So that should be fun. Just, you know, practicing it out here. Alright, well, as usual, uh, this looks like a tower breach point, so let me soften this up with my bow. I hear people in here, but I don't see them. It is very challenging to see them. If only I had a flashlight, right? Come on, it's just it's just like a black abyss in there. Oh, I see you. I don't even know who I'm shooting here. Just... Yeah, I got him. Just if I see arrows come out of these, uh, out of these, you know, fence slits or whatever, I will return fire. Hard to tell. Oh, perfect headshot. And another one. And another one. I missed my calling as a sniper, clearly. Well, here we go. Climbing the tower with my two hander blade. Let's hope that this does not go dramatically wrong. I haven't used it before, and if you recall back. Many moons ago, when I used to enter um, arena fights, my two-hander skill was terrible. I would constantly miss my my swings. Also, I, I need to make sure not to fall. Uh, I gotta say... It is far more effective than the Ramphaya. Does less damage, of course. But given the space at which I have to swing, a uh, much better castle crashing weapon. Alright, let's check this tower. Something tells me it's empty because none of my troops came this way. Wow, no one was even on their ballista. It's too bad I can't uh, rotate the ballista around to use it. As you can see, my troops are absolutely... Oh, don't hit friendlies. Absolutely storming them. Okay, let's try to find some action, even though I doubt I will in time. My companions are racking up quite a lot of kills. I'm looking at the uh, the feed here, and I'm I'm constantly seeing Damien and Peric and Juron and you know my other um, vassals who seem to be faring quite well in this fight. Oh, hello! Are you gonna run for me? Don't do that. And me, of course. I'm racking up Serratus. There's another. Yes! I like this weapon. Oddly enough, it's registering as a one-handed weapon? Which I don't think is correct. 
I do believe it is a two-hander. I will check at the end of this battle. But uh, me swinging this thing around gave me one-handed skill, which is very confusing to me because I'm holding it. I'm wielding it as a one-handed, but I don't think it is because it's massive. But if I could use a shield with this, that would be ridiculous. And I think that was it. Oh no, there's someone hiding somewhere. The ratio of deaths is amazing. Six deaths, 277 kills. My goodness. Taking everyone prisoner because I can. I have space for it. And nope. Really nothing of worth, unfortunately, but uh, it, uh, it could be worse. All right, Melian Castle. All right, let's check this weapon because... Omni Doving does not like that I took that castle. Oh, it's one-handed. Uh, that must have been a change as of the patch that I patched. Interesting. That's a ridiculously powerful one-handed weapon, I'm just gonna say. Um, Alright, I'm back to Rumphaya. So, next up, my Zia, I think I'll go to. Yeah, that, that blade is is absurd. So, here we go. One-handed weapons. I did level up. So, Duelist. Uh, more damage, one-handed, without a shield. Or hit points increased. I'm going to go with hit points increased. And melee troops gain more experience after every battle. Uh, because I don't really use one-handed weapons all that often. Now, Talon, you leveled up in bows. Let's give you Bodkin for uh, armor piercing. Silas. Um, bow control. And Vredog. Medicine, recovery chance applies to enemies too. Increase max health by five. Increase troops mount health by, if you're a captain. Um... I don't think this matters because both of these are surgeon or captain, surgeon or personal. Well, this one's surgeon or personal. Let's go with that. Give um, Free Dog a little bit more health. Uh, Free Dog also had a focus point to use. So let me go back to that screen. So Damien has a focus point. I don't think it's going to let me use it if he's not in my party. Same with Trustin, so skip that over. Raptor Talon, you have a focus point. Archery. Cheese, one-handed. Three dog, uh, riding, and we're done. Good, everybody nicely leveled up. Let's take a look at diplomacy. So receiving tribute a day. Uh, we are beating them, in other words. Or at least they perceive us to be beating them. I'm going to need to add some cohesion. I don't have a lot of influence, so i got to be careful about how much influence I'm using. I'm not going to really be able to veto anything politically. Melian Castle just got besieged by someone. Oh, yeah. And then Sarandon rolled in. Oh, you are stuck, Yurik. Where are you going to go? If you attack Sarandon, y'all die. Yep, they are dead. Because I'm going to get them there in time. Hi, Sarandon. Time to smush. With me. Yeah. So, attack. Have no mercy. everybody charge. Everybody charge. I don't think there's enough of them to even concern me. And the Reaper Queen headhunting for their vassals. 
Oh god, that shield has got to be the most destroyed it's ever been. Oh, he's still alive. Man, he is trying to shake me. Doing a good job, too. Come on, Yurik. Yeah, that's what you get for picking on Sarandon. Death. Or, at least, wounded. At this point, we are just, uh, spawn camping them. And I'm okay with this. <laughs> they're screaming, God save us. Yeah, no, that's not gonna work, buddy. Your god abandoned you. <laughs> I don't even know what's going on. I can barely find enemies in this brawl. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, they had some horsemen that, that sneaked out. I'm on it. That's it. One person died. Who died? One hired blade. Alright. A small price. Baron Sarandon, uh, very happy about me backing him up, keeping him from being captured. Take all the prisoners. Uh, that's an okay piece of armor. I don't think anyone's going to wear it of my companions, but uh, it'll sell. And now the March North to Mysia. Provided that nothing else comes under siege. Bit of a caveat, but I'm hoping. So, take a look at my character. We've got Raptor Talon leveling up in bow. Let's give bow control. And Talon leveling up in riding. Let's give... Um, decrease mounted accuracy penalties. I guess. I wasn't really sure about that one, but I don't really care. Murdering all those guys was good for my experience. So I'll level people up. And before I start recruiting these prisoners, let me check to make sure my... Oh, wow. Trust in Damien and Can can take on so many more troops. So clearly, some changes to stewardship has been made. Because previously they were nearly uh, full, and now they're not even close. Alright, uh, looks like Balot's army here is starving to death. I'm gonna um, see if I can't catch him. Oh, hi Balot. Oh, wow. They, so there's a ton of vassals here. This is so easy. Almost a 10 to 1 ratio, and there's so many lords for me to capture. Again, a tacticless, give them hell everybody charge, I think is in order. And I am super excited to be knocking out lords and ladies by the dozens here. Okay, where? Oh, they're just fleeing into the forest. That's not gonna work for me. You shall be my prisoner. 
let's lock onto a few and there's one vessel got my own cavalry or I think the greatest impediment to my kill count right now there's another vessel and a third Don't piss off the Reaper Queen. I knocked him off his horse. Oh, someone else got the kill, though. Because he never got back up. Uh, here's a fourth vassal. Let's see if I can get four. Beyond a hat trick. I got cut off. That's fine. I don't necessarily need the glory of taking down uh, only vassals. I'm happy with all cavalry. You want to use your bow? That's fine. You're down too. Oops, hit my own charger. Was, uh, needlessly cruel to that horse. Oh, this is the same guy I was chasing before. I guess he survived so far. And not any longer. Four vassals. This is a... I oh, don't He's down two. And that's it. We lost seven. I personally knocked out almost half of their vassals. And we'll be taking them on, oh my goodness, as prisoners. So, oh, they also have 239 prisoners to, to grab. So what I'm going to be doing is all of the prisoners that I currently have that are willing to join me. Uh, maybe not the recruits. I'll get rid of those. I'm going to be recruiting to make space and eventually gifting them off to my companions. And then what I should do is cherry pick uh, like I normally do. So here's what I'll do. I will get rid of all prisoners. Take the lords, right? Because, you know, I'm going to want them. Level up my own guys and then cherry pick the best prisoners. So... I could be wrong about this, but it did look like uh, tier 5 and 6 troops are now recruitable. I just don't know if that's true. But um, I do know that there's loads of money to be had. Ransing them and off. Ransing, ransoming them off. Uh, so I'll grab their best. And work my way down the tiers Oh, all the Valandians I should grab too, because they're, you know, they're uh, recruitable for me. So we have a little bit more room. Let's go with cavalry first, tier four cavalry. Just the movement speed ben benefits of having a higher percentage of cavalry is uh, is nice. Um, okay, and then the rest of the tier fours. Whole bunch of sturgeons in there. And we're full. Done. Nothing too profitable in terms of uh, spoils of war. But very, very effective that we knocked out so many lords all at once. That was phenomenal. Bash leveled up and riding. Let's give you... Sweeping Wind. I don't know. 
Melian Castle going to Peric, because I don't even have the influence to override that anyway. But uh, Peric, I think that is, yep, that is his first uh, territory ever. And we will start to besiege Mysia. I think, again, I will go with a traditional tower siege. Uh, but this time, let's try... Let's try... Get rid of the Rumphaya. I, it's still, it still is locked. Um, getting rid of the Bodkin Arrows here. Uh, I do have plans for these. So, lock the Bodkin Arrows, put the Noble Bow back on. Um... So we're going to take a Cracked Shield to use with the Mountain Blade. There it is. So now I have a giant shield to go into battle on. Or with, not on, hopefully, because on usually <laughs> means that I've gotten knocked out. Take a look at the prisoners. Uh, I'm really interested if any of those tier fives are going to join me. Okay, so the camp's built. I've got vassals around here helping to defend my current holdings. I forgot um, that... Here, let me give them to my husband, Damien. I forgot that I have some troops that I am not supposed to have. Wow, that smile is always so creepy. Is there anyone that does not have Valenian in their name? One... Here we are. He goes, stay safe, my dear. It's like, okay. Corian married Faden. Okay, let's see what that is. Faden, you are a vassal of Batania, and you married whom? You, who is daughter to Kaladog. Oh, really making a power play there, I guess. Also sounded like someone leveled up uh, for some reason, but no, I don't see it. So we're good to lead an assault. This is roughly the same ratio as the last castle, but this is a town, of course. And now I have a shield, which is pretty cool. I'll, I'll have half of the amount of arrows that I normally have, but I generally don't use up my arrows. And I can, uh, not that I, I often get hit on my way in, but I can use my my giant round shield. Now with my with my new one hander that I've been that I have, um, it might be worth me investing in uh, a better shield. So I'll, I'll be on the lookout to shop for a superior shield for myself. Oh, I don't like when they use uh, the catapults they're using because they rack up considerable kills. Let me see if I can't kill him. A little higher. Ooh, right in the neck. Or in the head. I'm seeing if I can't get an angle on the other catapulter. Not really. But we'll have the siege tower upon them soon anyway. Maybe if I go climb a rock or into that building. Let's see. I'm, I'm almost curious 
to see if that uh, house over there is traversable. Because it would give me a height advantage and maybe allow me to shoot down upon um, the catapults. So let's see if these doors actually open. They do not. Cosmetic. Well, okie dokie. Yeah, even from this height, I can't really see the catapults. Not well enough to take them out. No, no, maybe I can't. It's a hell of a shot, though. I don't even know if my arrows render that far. This is a bit easier of a shot. Okay, lower. Oh, he ducked. Lower. Ooh, got him. Alright. The wall is ready to climb, so without a further ado... Uh, my horse is probably blocking these poor, poor souls from being able to climb. Come on, everybody. Go. Little traffic. Just a little traffic. Seems to me we already own the wall, though. So first order of business... No more catapulting. I really wanted to stand there and whack on it for like hours I could disable it but that'll be a no thank you so these guys are coming to uh, re reman it or whatever but no that's not gonna work for me Welcome. <laughs> All right, let's head to the reinforcing point. If we really want to get our hands dirty. I don't think they're long for this world, like all castle sieges. I don't think I've ever lost one, so I don't even know what that would feel like. No! <laughs> He's like the last one alive and I put two arrows in his back and he kept running. I think there's maybe one more somewhere. Oh, someone's mending this. Oh, hello. Ah, uh, that would have been amazing, but it didn't work. Oh, uh -huh. yes. <laughs> no one is safe. That was a good, what was that? 66 meters? Headshot. Yeah, I can see the last ones. He just got decked, and that's it. 14 to 139, with a whole bunch captured as well. I can um, I can grab all prisoners, even if I'm going to go over capacity, because it doesn't matter. I'm in a town, and I can uh, ra ransom them off immediately. 
excuse me, immediately. So that's no issue. In terms of wealth, um, really nothing. This town had no valuables. Tavern district. Choose prisoners to be ransomed. Okay. Now the other issue is... Um, having as many prisoners as I currently do... Uh, makes it tricky to travel reasonably. So even though... Um, even though I have capacity for some of these guys, I might not want to keep them because they're slowing me down. So all these Kuzate archers, Sergian archers, or, uh, yeah. All those guys I'm just gonna, I'm gonna let go. Okay, I'm below capacity now. Uh, I have 20,000 worth of prisoners. Go to the keep, go to the dungeon. Let's ditch... These guys too. So all of these here are um, prisoners that I could I could withdraw because technically I own my my Zaya until it gets assigned to someone. But I'm going to leave them in there. Um, all right, let's go to trade. Noble longbow. Ooh, it can't be used on horseback. I was looking for a shield, now that I think about it. So here's a large shield, one that, um, that befits the queen. And then what I'm going to do is sell off everything else other than my Rumphalia. Or, they call it Rumphalia. There's different ways to spell it and pronounce it. So if you hear me say Rumphalia, it's the other way that it's called. Wouldn't be a terrible idea to. Whoa, they really don't have food here. Never mind. Okay, done. So now they've lost a castle in a town. Let me double check to make sure I have not lost something. Oh, yeah, so Gaos Castle has fallen. And I'm gonna head to go recapture that with my newly massive shield. And they're probably going to come to Mysia pretty pretty soon to take it. I don't need as many troops as I currently have, so I'm going to get rid of um, some of the vassals that have larger numbers of um, of troops, so that they can protect this area. So I don't constantly like seesaw, flip flop back and forth the um, my ownership of of what I currently hold. As much fun as it is to constantly recapture. So, so far, I have not seen a tier 5 or 6 troop be recruitable. Uh, so, I'm not the siege captain here. Um, Karath is, and he decided to attack with just one tower and one battering ram, which is fine. He can lead the way. Oh, but I get the ultimate say here, which is interesting. Yeah! This shield looks a little bit too imperial for me, so I'm going to be still be shopping around for something better. I don't want to look imperial at all. I was going to raise the ladders, but uh, I got busy. Thank you. God, they only have three troops to defend the top.
Yeah, I would run too. Having a shield definitely helps fighting a lot. Oh, uh, no, you're not Damien. You just look like Damien. I gotta say, the sword and shield is a lot of fun. Because I can tank a lot more. I could just jump into giant crowds. Oh. Except for when archers are trying to shoot me. Hey, that was rude. I was in a duel. Get out of here. I have respect for this guy. Uh-oh. Nope, lost my respect. And uh, my troops will just murder you all now. Sitting in a respawn point was my fault. Oh, yeah, here we go. Gates down, and they are gone. Baron Kareth, you're welcome. Isvan, you're my prisoner. I didn't even realize there was a um, uh, prisoners to be taken. And let me be choosy about the prisoners I uh, I take on, though. I actually shouldn't have just said everybody, because uh, I'm nearly at capacity. None of my companions got hurt in that fight. Just me. You know, like normal. Alright, Gauss Castle's fallen. And I wasn't even the one that technically took it. I just assisted. So, the last place I'd like to capture... Let's capture up here, uh, Lacana Castle and Amfrella. So that, um... And this castle over here, too. I want to own, really, everything west of this river. Or, um... Yeah, I guess it's... It's a river, technically. It just widens. But let me stop by my... By my Zaya first. Make sure that I, uh... I ransom who I need to ransom, and recruit who I need to recruit. Yeah, so far, only Tier 4s have offered to join. So my guess is... Ooh, Baranor got taken prisoner. Where were you? Uh, you were near Serenea. Okay, so maybe Melian Castle is going to be besieged soon. That's generally what that means. I have a lot of junk. And I'm going to switch up my weapons again. And lock the shield so I don't accidentally sell it. Oh, don't I have a noble? Maybe I don't have a noble. Let me check. No, uh, Isvin. Okay, I have a noble on me too, so let me put them in the prison. Now, of course, none of these prisoners are going to be mine soon. Uh, I'm going to be rancing them off. Um, hmm. That's a good point. So if I keep them here, whoever inherits this town gets to own them. But, uh, whatever, that's fine. If they want to ransom them off to make some money, that's not a big deal. Tynops just formed an army here, which is going to help protect my holdings. And I'm going to head 
over to this castle that I said I wanted to capture. Because it looks like Tynops is helping Melian castle. I'm hoping that, uh, that that's why he's down there. To protect that area. So far, yeah, no tier fives. That was probably just a typo or something. Mysia going to be owned by Peric. Sure. So now he has all those prisoners. It's too bad it didn't go to Luchin. I would have preferred it to go to Luchin, but I don't have the influence to try to override that. And right here is about all the time I have before I enter the siege. As you can see, I am definitely winning against Kuzit. Uh, they will happily pay me 2,000 tribute a day now. It used to be 700 at the start of this episode to end this war. Because, uh, well, they're getting whooped. Totally, totally whooped. But that's all the time I have. If you have any feedback for me, let me know in the comments below. Um, my plan is likely after I capture enough Kuzit territory that my vassals are full. Meaning that uh, they own enough, they own at least two fiefs per vassal. I'm going to form peace and go on another recruiting spree. And then turn on Valandia again. But if you want me to turn on someone else other than Valandia, let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you next episode. Farewell, everybody.